Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about an exciting new development from Clean Core Thorium Energy. They've created a new type of nuclear fuel called Enil, Advanced Nuclear Energy for Enriched Life. This fuel uses a special mix of thorium and low enriched uranium, promising cleaner and potentially cheaper electricity. Let's dive in and see how Enil could make a big difference in the world of nuclear power. By merging these elements, anil fuel can handle several long-time challenges facing nuclear power, reducing costs, preventing nuclear proliferation, and minimizing radioactive waste. Perhaps most excitingly, because anil fuel is American-made, it could position the U.S. as a prime nuclear fuel exporter to nations looking to develop new nuclear energy programs. Nuclear power is crucial for many developing countries as it represents the only viable option for securing electricity. There are 30 countries currently considering, planning, or initiating nuclear programs, while an additional 20 countries, primarily in developing regions, have expressed interest in nuclear programs in the future. Anil's advantages shine brightest when used in certain types of nuclear reactors, like the Canadian CANDU and Indian PHWR heavy water reactors, and can also be optimized for use in PWRs, BWRs, HTGRs, and related SMRs. All of Canada's 19 nuclear reactors are of the CANDU design. Interestingly, other nations like Argentina, China, India, South Korea, Pakistan, and Romania have also adopted the CANDU design for their reactors. India, in particular, has 18 PHWRs based on the CANDU design. These established reactor designs are well suited for deployment in developing nations and comprise roughly 10% of reactors worldwide. Having outlined the current standards in nuclear fuel, let's uncover why anil fuel stands out as a superior alternative. The anil fuel delivers substantially superior fuel performance of around 55,000 megawatt day per ton of fuel than the natural uranium fuel currently used in CANDU reactors, with a burn-up rate of merely 7,000 megawatt day per ton. Also, the anil can stay in reactors far longer while extracting more energy from the same amount of fuel. One of the key advantages of CANDU PHWR reactors is their ability to be refueled while still operating at full power. This eliminates the need for downtime and keeps electricity flowing. The Kaiga Unit 1 in India and Darlington Unit 1 in Canada hold world records for continuous operation at an impressive 962 and 963 days, respectively. Traditionally, CANDU PHWR reactors using natural uranium fuel use fuel bundles weighing around 15 kilograms each. After the initial 150 days of operation, an average of eight bundles would need to be replaced daily for the remaining 60 years of the reactor's lifespan. However, with anil fuel, the story changes. The fuel bundles are lighter, weighing approximately 11 kilograms each. And here's the real benefit. Because anil burns more efficiently, refueling is needed much less often. After the initial 1,400 days, only one bundle would need replacing daily for the rest of the reactor's life. The higher burn-up rate also reduces nuclear waste by over 80% and generates less plutonium, making the spent fuel extremely difficult to repurpose for weapons. But anil's benefits don't stop there. Thorium itself has properties that make it safer and more stable than conventional uranium fuels with a higher melting point and lower operating temperatures that make core meltdowns less likely. This bar chart provides a clear, easily comprehensible comparison of uranium and thorium across key factors relevant to their use as nuclear fuels. Abundance. Thorium scores higher, 9, than uranium, 6, indicating it is more abundant. Technological maturity. Uranium scores higher, 9, than thorium. 5. Indicating more established technology. Waste management. Thorium scores higher, 7, than uranium, 4. Suggesting it produces less long-lived radioactive waste. Proliferation risk. Thorium scores higher, 8, 
than uranium. 3. Indicating a lower risk of nuclear weapons proliferation. Initial investment. Uranium scores higher, 8, than thorium. 4. Due to existing infrastructure and technology. Long-term costs. Thorium scores higher, 7, than uranium, 5, indicating potentially lower long-term costs. Safety. Thorium scores higher, 8, than uranium, 6, suggesting potentially safer reactor designs. Texas A&M University has announced that they will be manufacturing anneal fuel pellets at the Nuclear Engineering and Safety Consultants. The production process will strictly adhere to the guidelines and quality assurance requirements set forth by both the U.S. Department of Energy and the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Once produced, the pellets will be sent to INL for high burn-up irradiation testing. After the testing phase, the pellets will be subjected to post-irradiation examination and fuel qualification. Anneal fuel pellets are crafted by blending thorium oxide with high assay, low enriched uranium oxide. While the precise ingredients of this mixture remain confidential, scientists and researchers are investigating the potential of thorium as a viable alternative to conventional nuclear fuels. Dr. Sean McDevitt, nuclear engineering professor and director of the Nuclear Engineering and Science Center at Texas A&M University, notes, I've been actively working on and around nuclear fuel behavior and applications for over 25 years. The anneal fuel concept integrated with the existing CANDU PHWR reactor technology takes advantage of thorium superior properties, performance, and abundance to generate clean base load electricity with reduced environmental impact. The journey of anneal fuel isn't just about its potential. It's a story of collaboration, innovation, and the ongoing pursuit of cleaner nuclear energy. Let's rewind and explore the exciting journey Clean Core Thorium has taken to bring this technology to the brink of commercialization. Clean Core Thorium Energy was established in 2017, headquartered in Chicago, Illinois. The company was founded with a bold vision to develop and commercialize a revolutionary nuclear fuel known as anneal. This fuel combines thorium with high assay low enriched uranium, promising a safer, more efficient, and environmentally friendly nuclear energy source. October 2021, Clean Core announced a significant breakthrough. The Texas A&M successfully fabricated the first anneal fuel pellets. This collaboration marked the transition of anneal fuel from concept to reality. Testing of these fuel pellets was scheduled to begin the following year, with commercialization aimed for late 2024. This achievement was a major boost for clean energy. November 2021, Clean Core further strengthened its team by adding Dr. Michael Binder, former president and CEO of the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission, to its Strategic Advisory Board. Dr. Binder's extensive experience in nuclear safety and regulation was seen as a valuable asset to accelerate the commercialization of a NEO fuel. December 2021, Clean Core and Centris Energy Corporation, a leading supplier of nuclear fuel, advanced their collaboration under a Memorandum of Understanding. This partnership aimed to promote a NEO fuel combining thorium with high assay low enriched uranium and represented a significant step forward in developing next generation nuclear fuel. Centris Energy's president and CEO Daniel B. Poneman highlighted the importance of this collaboration in addressing the need for reliable, clean energy. In June 2022, Clean Core announced a strategic partnership agreement with the U.S. Department of Energy for the testing of anneal fuel at Idaho National Laboratory's Advanced Test Reactor. This agreement marked a crucial milestone towards the commercialization of thorium-based energy. The irradiation testing and qualification were set to begin by the end of 2022 or early 2023. Just two days later, Clean Core agreed on an advanced thorium fuel testing schedule with the Department of Energy. 
This agreement underscored the progress towards commercializing anil fuel, with the Department of Energy highlighting the necessity of the High Assay Low Enriched Uranium Availability Program for the successful deployment of advanced reactors. By April 2024, Clean Core began the accelerated irradiation testing and qualification of anil fuel in the advanced test reactor at Idaho National Laboratory. This phase was crucial for achieving high burn-up targets and validating the fuel's performance. April 9, 2024. Clean Core completed the Phase 1 pre-licensing vendor design review process with the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission. This milestone indicated that no fundamental barriers were identified that could impede the licensing of a NEIL fuel in Canada. May 2024, Clean Core partnered with Canadian nuclear laboratories to advance anil fuel technology. This collaboration, funded under the Canadian Nuclear Research Initiative, aimed to finalize the project's scope and timeline, potentially accelerating the deployment of anil fuel. Clean Core Thorium Energy is actively collaborating with various stakeholders, including regulators, utilities, and suppliers with the ultimate goal of commercially deploying anil fuel by 2026. Their journey is a testament to the power of innovation and strategic partnerships in addressing the world's energy challenges. Stay tuned for more updates as Clean Core continues to lead the way toward a cleaner, safer, and more sustainable energy future. Thanks for joining me on this exploration of Clean Core Thorium Energy. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you believe, like me, that this is a game changer for the future of energy, smash that like button and share this video.